everyone back to dcw attitude we are starting off a little different than normal we are starting half an hour early plus we're starting with a different show simply because i suspect a lot of people will arrive a little late but we are underway nonetheless welcome everybody welcome and we are live from i don't remember because it's a while ago let's see From East Rutherford, New Jersey. So we are in New York City, or as close as you can get before actually getting to an arena in New York City. <clears throat> so get ready for Attitude tonight. We have a number of big matches coming up, including our big main event, which sees Brenna take on Tamara. The winner, if she wins, Brenna will get to dictate the match and actually have a match against Tamara at Legacy. She will then dictate the actual rules of said match, which will be very interesting. Uh, but first up, we have Emma versus Lilu in a match between two competitors looking to progress up the ladder and be a part of some of the bigger uh, championship matches. Of course, Emma has done very well, and uh, if she wins tonight... She can move on and battle for the internet championship. Of course, Lilu will be thinking very similarly. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Oregon, Emma. There she is. Winner of the big match last week that put her in position to actually get a shot at the title. She is ready and wanting to get this thing done right here, right now, tonight, and reach that level that will allow her to be in the top echelon of DCW's women's division. We'll have to see how she does. Can she continue down this road, or will she struggle in the face of Lilu, who has been relatively successful herself in the last few matches? All right, speaking of Lilu, here she comes. If you are live with us, you might hear a fan in the background. That is just due to the fact that it is a warm one today for everyone. And here comes Lilu marching down to her own drum. And uh, if you're on YouTube, you won't hear the fan at all, probably. So. All right, here she comes. Lilu, of course, has been in a couple of championship matches in the last little while. Unsuccessful during these matches, but certainly someone who is not to be taken lightly. She can and will beat you if you give her half the chance. Emma will have her work cut out for her, that is for certain. So here we go. And immediately they lock up in the center. Emma pushes Lila right into the corner, just right off the bat. 
Referee looks like he's going to have to break this up because they are not letting go. He does get in the middle right then, right there, and does break it up. They come back together, but Lilu manages to get a hold, and she's got her in that panda slam move, but unfortunately couldn't follow up. Emma instead does, and back body drops. Lilu gets her ready now. She's going to throw her into the turnbuckle. Yes, she does. Bangs in there hard. Comes out wobbly. Picked up now, and then just slammed. And now Emma, knee into the small of Lilu's back but missed on the follow-up kick, and now a German suplex sends Emma down. She's writhing in pain on the mat. Oh, Lilu with a quick shot to the midsection, catches Emma out. Emma tries to go for a hit and misses. Lilu comes in, takes her down with a clothesline. Picking Emma back up, quick strike, and then over she goes to the floor. Or not to the floor, but to the mat. And uh, Lilu's prepared, ready, willing, and able. Stands Emma back up, goes for a strike, but unfortunately for her, Emma blocks it. But then she catches Emma and takes her over with a big toss, effectively. And now goes for a pinning attempt. One. Not enough. Emma standing back up. Whoa! And then Lilu pulls her up and tries to schoolboy her. One. Two. Might even say schoolgirl in that particular instance. Picks her up again. And then guillotines her off the top rope. And then Lilu, arm drag takedown, sends her flying. Immediately, Emma follows up, gets a hold of Lilu, and then just chucks her over the ropes and onto the floor. Out she goes, chasing her. This could be trouble for either competitor, depending on the situation. If both were to get counted out for some reason, then they would not be allowed to compete against the internet champion. But Emma gets thrown into the corner, comes out with a quick elbow, drop kick catches Lilu. Lilu instead rolls to the ropes, pulls herself up. I think Emma was going to go for a big move, but realized that she couldn't do that, so she just decks Lilu off of the apron to the floor again. Now she follows up. Will she actually be able to do anything? Or oh, comes in with a big kick, but somehow it missed. No connection on that, but does connect with that knee shot. Back in now, Lilu and Emma back in the ring. Emma thrown into the corner this time, and then Lilu follows up with a big spear. Now she's going to drag her out of the corner and just plops her onto the mat. Big trouble possibly ahead for Emma. She's getting pulled towards the center of the ring. Lilu stretching that calf muscle in those glutes, trying to make it hard for Emma to do any power moves or any big jumps. And then another one of those spears. Now she's knocked her down. She's getting ready for the crazy train. She's gone over to the other turnbuckle. Here she comes. She's swinging in. Bam! She connects. Now she's going up to the top rope. This could be trouble for Emma. Turns around. Oh, but the knees were up. Every time she turns her back, that seems to happen. And Emma catches her. And now Lilu's in deep trouble. Up she goes onto Emma's back. Emma's got her. She turns her over laddered onto the mat. Pinning attempt. One, two. Oof, Lilu kicks out at two. No further does she go. Working on the neck area, trying to get Lilu weakened. Emma's actually in control, but Lilu realizing that quickly gets out and then just comes back in and takes Emma down with a hurricane Rana going towards the top turnbuckle. She's up high risk, high rent, and she takes that risk with a big elbow and misses again. That is two times she's missed on these high flying moves. But Emma missed on a drop kick and then immediately runs into a hurricane Rana herself. Lilu back in charge again. Throws her into the corner, follows it up with another spear. She decides to, oh, tried to go for a like a diving drop kick that misses. 
Now she's thrown into the corner. Emma has her set up for something. Pushes her back into the ropes and then just tars her with a big old strike. Turns her over and then, oh, the big cartwheel. Catches Lilu. Down she goes. One, two, three. Emma with a big win right off the bat to open attitude. A big victory with now a big opportunity to take on Zoe at Legacy. I believe, or it could even be next week. It depends on what the booker decides, but at the moment, that is where they're lined up to go. Zoe May has an open challenge that she consistently offers the title, so she may give Emma an early chance. But if not, we will see those two battle it out at Legacy. But I suspect that because she won this week, she'll probably get her shot next week on Attitude. Here is your but Emma, Emma. With a big victory. Regardless of when it happens, she is fighting for a championship. And that's not a bad thing. Lilu goes back to the drawing board once more, but these two ladies, I'm sure, will meet again soon. Neither wrestler is in a tag team, so there's not that kind of tie-up present, but uh, nonetheless. So next up, we have another tag team match, this time between the Unprofessionals and the uh, Agents of Chaos, Parashi and... Emily will be wanting to gain a victory here. These two teams will probably end up meeting up at Legacy. And I would suggest Hollywood Blondes will likely be in the mix as well. All three of those teams want to take the titles away and actually grab a victory. So I'm hearing rumors that it might even be a big TLC, three-way TLC match. And here comes Agents of Chaos. On the way to the ring, Percy and Emily, the Agents. Right, these ladies are ready to go. Now they wait for the champions who are on their way to the ring. Title not up for grabs tonight. Tag champions have been on a roll as of late. Gotta figure they want to get another win here. the ladies are in the ring they are ready to go we could have ourselves quite the match coming up and here we go it's cheeky versus Pershi right in the center of the ring right off the bat Pershi just wrenching on the neck they are colliding but Kat pushes her back and kicks her in the midsection 
One more this time to the lower back. So she's hit both sides. But Perishy, jawbreaker, gets out of it immediately. Punch to the back of Cat. And then slams her into the turnbuckle. Emily's up. On the second rope, comes down. Big axe handle smash. Oh, but Cheeky comes, or Cheeky, I keep saying Cheeky. Cat comes around and gets her right in the back of the leg. And then just takes her down. Boot to the back there too. Misses on that one though. Emily tosses her into the corner, follows up with a big clothesline. Possibly a punch, but it looked more like a, a, a forearm strike to clothesline sort of shot. Emily taken down again by Cat though, who is in control now. Dragging her towards her corner. I suspect she's looking to tag out. Not so far, but now she is. There comes Cheeky. Now I can say the right name. In the ring, she's got her. Pulls Emily to her feet, but Emily turns her over fairly quickly. Arm dragged on, wrenched on. Cheeky in trouble. Champions finding it hard going against Emily and Perishy. These two ladies are not going to be put off just because they're facing the champions. It's been a long time since they've had a proper championship attempt between the two of them. And as partners, they've never had it. So they really want this badly. They want to win this match and go on on an uptick going against a pair of favorites who are champion at the moment. Kick to the back. Here she wrenches down. Now, Cheeky working on the neck. There she in big trouble here. Falls over the kid to the midsection and another. I know talking to the champions, they were very prepared. They've been studying the film. They've been making sure that they're up on everything that's going on in the ladies tag team division. And they feel confident that they can defend their titles anytime, anywhere. Cheeky taken and put onto the ropes, and then they double slam her. Tag team a plenty here. Emily then arm dragged over by Cheeky, who finally recovers to some degree, but not enough. Whoa, but then ducks out of the way from Emily trying to get her. Strike to the chest, now picks her up. Sidewalk slam. Oh, more of a backbreaker move. And then just tosses her on the ground, pulling her into the middle of the ring. Stomp to the back, knees to the midsection, and again, that combination it can be a finisher in the right set of circumstances, but Emily is not done with Cheeky. She pushes her into the corner, tags in Perishy, Perishy going up. She is going to launch her, she does. Cannonball special, connects. Pinning attempt, one. Cat comes in, hits the referee, now collides with Perishy in the center of the ring. Meanwhile, Emily looked like she was going to jump onto Cheeky, but instead gets out before the referee gets to his feet. High knee lift by Perishy. Taking her up, bringing her into the corner, rams her into the turnbuckle. Pushes her back up against it on her back. Now comes in, and it's a big, big cartwheel clothesline. And now another pinning attempt. One, two. Cat was in, but she didn't need to break up the cover because instead, Cheeky got out on her own. Now all four women in the ring. Leg takedown by Perishy. Looked like she was going to go after Cheeky. I don't know. Or Cat. I'm not sure what she's doing there. Here she or decided to slide out and then slides back in. Ooh, and then dragged down to the mat face first. And then another trip by Cheeky drops Parachute to the mat. They fight over and now Cheeky's on the apron. She's about to be brought in hard way and yes she is. Ooh. Kind of a form of panda slam. 
Then a knee drop onto the face. Cheeky in trouble. Haven't seen Emily for a bit here. Not sure what happened. I can see her arm. There she is getting to her feet. One, two. Yeah, Kat's, Kat's not going to put up with that. Too far away for... Not far away enough. I'm not sure what pair she keeps doing. She keeps jumping out of the ring arbitrarily and then stands there for a second and moves. Now she's looking to go for Cheeky. And wow, that was a long jump that missed. Cheeky stands her up. Rolls her into her corner. An opportunity to tag in Cat now. There she might have put herself in danger by not making the tag out. And now she is in danger. It is a big move coming up here. Leaps. Connects. Pinning attempt. Here comes Emily. Not quick enough though, but Pear, she kicks out at two. Cat now working her way through her. Turns her over. Now she's going to send her down to the mat. Misses on that attempt. Ties up her legs. She's at her in that vice grip like maneuver and then stomps on the back of her thighs. Picks Pear, she back up. Spinning back heel kick. Coming across the ring again, and it's a hip drop to the face. Cat now has Perishy where she wants her. Banging her wrist into the mat. Picks her back up. Sets her forward. She spins her around, throws her into the corner. Coming in. I thought she was going to tag Cheeky, but instead she gets caught by Perishy, who then hits Cheeky. And then gets taken down by Cat. Cat launches a couple of kicks, but misses pretty thoroughly. There she's still in big trouble, though. Cat catches her, but there she stands up. Strikes, knocks Cat down. Can she tag out? Perfect opportunity to do that would be right now, but instead she's going after Cat. Cat brought back to her feet, thrown into the row corner. And now they tag out. And now it's another fastball special. This time it is Cat who gets splattered by Emily. Cheeky misses one, two, but then she connects. And now Parrish takes her over and it's a German. And Cheeky rolls to the floor. This could be the beginning of the end. There's no Cheeky to save her this time. And Cat is only now getting to her feet, but she does get the better of Emily. Coming in with the high knees to the back. Turning her over though, she's got her in the schoolboy. One, oh, small package almost worked out. It's that choke hold move by Emily and it takes Cat down. Stomp to the midsection, now she's working on her chin. Cheeky finally back up after being down for quite some time. Cat fights out of the hold. Gets a knee to the midsection though in the process. Shaken. And then stirred. Dropped on her head. Cheeky and Cat jumping out to the outside. Cat tries to come in and get Emily. Emily tried to get Cat. Oh, one missed. Oh, but this one didn't miss. The arm punished. And now she's in big trouble. Oh my goodness, run into the ring post. Down she went, but immediately Emily tries to get up. She's disoriented, misses on the connection, but does connect the second time. Cat, who maybe wanted to tag out, did not take the opportunity. And now she's the one in trouble. Emily puts the foot in, sending her down to the ground. Cat in trouble, she's being stomped on and now she's pressure of the throat from the boot. Drag to the middle of the ring. Stomp to the back, knees come in now. Another knee. And more stomping going on. Can she finish her off? She throws her into the corner. <clears throat> Emily tags in Pershi. There she kick. However, Cat able to cut that off fairly easily. Takes Pershi down. Pershi throws a couple of punches to the midsection, which sends Cat reeling. Comes in and picks her up and now turns her over. Slam into the mat goes Cat. 
being dragged towards the center of the ring again. Picked up one more time and over she goes. There she working a magical move onto Cat. Cat for 2000 is in big trouble. Big clothesline cartwheel connects. Now Pershi wanting to go for a high risk move but instead has to recover and cannot follow up. Stomp onto Cat again. Here we go again. Another one of these throws over top of herself. Now she goes for the top rope. She's ready. Cat trying to roll away but doesn't make it. Now she is getting to her feet. This is probably bad. Here comes Pershi. She connects in that diving cutter and she is a long ways away. Emily and Cheeky though were cut off by the referee and so Emily was able to get, was unable to get Cheeky. But now both of them are down in the middle of the ring. Cat trying to get to her feet. Cheeky still down. Cat rolling away. I don't know what pair she can do from this distance. Can she connect? Both ladies are stumbling to their feet. She does connect with that cutter move. And now Cheeky wobbles to her feet while here she drags Cat into the center of the ring again. One, two. Oh, very close. And actually Cheeky got cut off by Emily. Oh, almost turned her over there. Missed on that pin. Now she's got the dragon sleeper locked in. There's nowhere for Pershi to go. Can she get out of it? She does eventually do so. Again, Cheeky's out of the ring, unable to help her partner. Kat has been taking an absolute trashing. And now here comes Emily again on the fastball special. She goes for the pin. Or does she? Yes, she does. Here we go, the count. One, two, three. There was no one to help Kat out. Cheeky had been wiped out earlier. And then the Agents of Chaos with a big victory that sets them up for a collision at Legacy. Knowing that they can beat the champions will give them a load of confidence tonight. You can better believe that. That was a very physical match. Both parties wanted that one. Here are your winners, Percy and Emily, the agent. So here they are, the ladies happy. Big win. Opportunity now to move along. And uh, we'll see if they can get a victory at Legacy. Next up, it's Lizzie Jones versus Ember as the Hollywood Blondes taking on Lizzie, basically, with uh, Kat in the corner of her partner. Lizzie, of course, was the world champion briefly. Uh, or it wasn't the world champion. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> she was not the world championship briefly. She was in the world championship match, losing to Phoenix. And uh, and then Phoenix was the one who lost it shortly thereafter. So, As Tamara recaptured her title last week. Only to immediately face a new competitor. But out first, it's Lizzie Jones. Lizzie will be wanting to get back into the mix of her title here soon. With her partner holding one of the singles championships, I think she would love nothing more than to hold another one. And now here comes the Hollywood Blondes. Hollywood Blondes from Arizona, the Queens. 
All right, the Hollywood Blondes is coming out now. They are gearing up for their own match in that three-way dance. And uh, they would like to get off to a good start towards Legacy tonight in a match where it's only a singles match, but you got to wonder if Cat will get involved regardless. These two are not well known for sticking to the rules. And here these two ladies go. Emma comes out and, or Emma, Amber comes out and takes out Lizzie right off the bat. Stomping on the arm, trying to take her down right here, right now. Picks her up, putting her on her back, but instead gets caught out. Ooh, big DDT catches Amber. Ember. I'll get this right yet. Yeah, too many M's in this division. Lizzie had control, but immediately Ember cut it off. Now she's taken down. Rock bottom caught her out. Forearm shiver. Big back heel catches her as well. Thrown into the corner, followed up, and a nice knee lift. Good combinations there by Lizzie. She is connecting well, taking charge and in control. Thrown into the corner now, and Lizzie follows up with high knees. Now Ember in trouble. Ember down. She has not had a lot of good luck since the beginning of the match here. But the pinning attempt fails fairly quickly. Lizzie trying to go after Ember, but Ember taking control back. Spinning neck breaker works to a T, and Lizzie is down. And now she's in those vice grip legs. The leg scissors working their magic of weakening the back and the throat and the head all at once. Those are the kind of moves that can make you dizzy. They're not going to cause you to submit, but they'll put you on that path. Working away. She's been doing a number on her, just dragging her around the ring. So far, so good for Ember after she took back control. Now Lizzie escapes to the apron trying to get away from the attack. But Ember's going to be right there to knock her out onto the floor. That's dangerous for Lizzie with Cat around. Referee keeping watch. I think Lizzie's partner Zoe would have been here, but she has a match later tonight. And instead, Lizzie on her own gets smashed into the apron. She's back down again. Ember takes her up, has her up, and they are still out of this ring right now. Dropped onto the cement, the, cement, the metal stairs. Count continuing in this process. Seven, but Ember chucks Lizzie back in before the count gets dangerous. And now turns her over, and after having controlled so much of the match early on, Lizzie now in deep trouble. Ember pursuing, just smashes her in the face with a big slap, but able to turn it over, goes for a sunset flip in. One, no, not enough. Lizzie frustrated a bit, giving it to Ember, letting her know just how much she dislikes her apparently. Throwing her towards the corner, does so. Tries to follow up, but doesn't get her, but Ember misses on her move, so basically it was a couple of bad combinations there. Now, tossed into the ropes, the two of them combine, and it is a big old DDT that sends Ember down. Lizzie back in control, right moment of this situation now. Pinning attempt, one. Not enough. Ember able to get back. The faculty's not quite there yet. A couple of stomps and kicks are going to make things very difficult on you in those circumstances. When you're trying to get your wits about you, the last thing you want is to suddenly lose breath or take a massive amount of pain to the face. Now, Lizzie up on the top rope. She's in danger territory, but she drops a perfect elbow. Cat trying to interfere. She's causing mischief, as you imagine she would. 
But Lizzie, oh, gets absolutely rocked by a punch as Ember able to take her over. And now she's got her. So the work of Cat avoided a pinning attempt. And now Ember has an opportunity to take advantage of this situation. Stomps on Lizzie. Lizzie gets back to her feet, but does connect. Able to take her down with that modified rock bottom. Going for the pin. Here we go. One. Not enough. Again, Ember able to recover. Lizzie calling for the fan support. Trying to get them hyped up so that she can hype herself up in the process. Working on the chin of Ember. Ember's not going to love that a whole lot. Trying to get free, trying to pull up the arm, but so far unable to do so. Does come up with a punch to the midsection and one to the chin, sending Lizzie flying away. Now picks her up, takes her down, smashes her into the uh, mat here. Up they go once again, but Ember unable to follow up. Big kick by Lizzie as Ember reeling. Oh, Spear knocks Ember off of the apron onto the floor. Lizzie now working on Ember, trying to put another bit of connection in, but doesn't get the opportunity. Instead, she gets to taste the apron as Ember drops her face first onto it. Thrown back into the ring. Ember gets back to her feet. After a bit of a dangerous time, she's now in control. High risk maneuver incoming, and it drops on Lizzie. Lizzie, I think, was almost back towards getting to her feet, but instead goes down. Amber just gives her a solid shot to the face. Picking her back up again. Knee catches her, though, and here comes Lizzie across. And it's that Hurricane Rana from that knee, kneeling position takes down Ember. Now Ember needs to get her wits about her fairly quickly. This could be a pinning attempt. It is. Cat not trying to get in the way. The one, two. Ember able to kick out. She escaped that move. Lizzie, after taking her to the corner, now sets her up on the top. This is going to be a big fall. This looks like it's going to be a suplex from the corner here. And oh, it's worse. It's a Hurricane Rana from the corner. Down she goes, and just as last time now, Lizzie interrupting Kat, trying to get her to go back down, has given Ember a little bit of life, as I guess was the plan. But... Lizzie able to come in, but Ember tries to catch her, but instead gets caught herself. Oh! Power bomb to the floor. Or to the mat. Stands back up. Oh! Big Inseguri kick. Another, another breakup because of Kat's interruptions. Lizzie going to the top rope. Is it going to be enough now? Is she still going to have to deal with Kat? Oh, the knees up by Ember. As Ember got the opportunity because of Kat's interference. Here she comes, throws her into the corner. Tries to follow up and misses. Punch coming out of the corner, catches her. Big move, another rock bottom. Connected by Lizzie. Now Lizzie has the opportunity to finish this match off, but no. Ember able to come out. Kat slides a rather obvious chair in the center of the ring. Nobody using it. Ember's got Lizzie where she wants her, though, so she may not need it. Spear catches her. A roar of approval by Ember. Now going for the pin. One, two, three. She does not need the chair, but Kat's interference was vital. Distracting the referee at the right point in time, and the Hollywood Blondes get the victory. Should I say Ember gets the victory? Lizzie will remember that one for a while, and I don't think she'll want to be in another 
outmatched fight with the manager. But Kat did her job and gave Ember the opportunity to get the win. You can dislike it all you want, but nothing she did until she slid in the chair that never got used was illegal. Alright, here we go. Our next match on the docket is between the Pixel Pals and British Union. A matchup between two factions that would love nothing more than to be in the race for the tag titles once held by the British Union and that unsuccessfully tried to challenge for last week. Pixel Pals themselves would love to win the tag titles, and uh, this is their first real attempt as a tag team. We'll have to see how it goes. They've been tagged up together, but this is their first time where they're coming in as a team. But first out, it's British Union. Members of the British Union, the most successful group in the DCW women's division, they have held all of the titles at one point or another. And in Phoenix's case, twice with the women's championship. Of course, they are only been equaled by agents, or not agents, by um, Abyss of Eternity who also have held all three championships, and Tamara has won the World Championship twice herself, having beaten Phoenix for it to win it back. These ladies are on a different mission now, and now they face these ladies, the Pixel Pals. Ursula and Runa coming to the ring. Runa, of course, the former women's champion, two-time women's champion. So between these four ladies, they have held one, two, three, four, six championships between them. So this is a very successful group. Ursula, of course, the only one who's never held a champion and would love nothing more than to win our first one very soon. A win here would go a long way to competing for that title down the road. And here we go, it's Runa versus B. B comes out and just smacks her right in the face. Takes her over, tries to take her down, but instead Runa catches her. Up she goes, she's been put up into a standing suplex. And she is working her magic with the muscles that she has. Rune is able to take B out. Drops a knee on her. Kick to the head as well now. A follow-up just as painful as the hit. And now she smashes her into the ground. But she's able to turn this over. Takes Runa over. Throws her into the other corner. Phoenix backs off. Now Phoenix in. B getting her set up. It's this big move of theirs. That leaping slam. And now Phoenix working to the legs. Of course, Phoenix is a submission specialist, submission machine. Whatever terminology you want to use, she works very effectively at it. And then pancake down, rolled over Runa, able to get control back on this one. But Phoenix comes in, jawbreaker, connects. Now she takes her opportunity to take Runa down and then tries to connect again but misses. Runa and Phoenix tie up in the center of the ring. Runa wins that one. Runa picks Phoenix up, takes her over, bridging suplex. 
Of course, it was Phoenix who took the title away from her. Right? So there's no love lost between these two. Tag into Ursula. Ursula now working with her partner. Puts her up to the top rope. Two members of this Pixel Pals. Big combined backdrop from the top rope. And now a big leg drop connects for Ursula. Ursula picking up Phoenix. Phoenix got to be in bad shape now. Thrown into the corner. Ursula connects on a drop kick. Phoenix tried to wiggle her way out of it, but instead just gets caught. But does grab the leg and takes her down. Boot to the face. Phoenix moves towards the other corner. Tags in B. B now in. B pushed out of there and now a drop kick connects and B falls flat on her face. Ursula now picks her up. About to slam her into the ropes and does. Down she goes again. Another boot to the face. Now ties up her legs. Working on her now. She's stretching the back. Putting all kinds of pressure on the lower back. But be able to squeak out of it at the last second. Oh, and then catches her by surprise. Take down. Connects. Now B finally with some offense. She needs to work her over to her own corner to get out of this predicament. Tag to her partner. She does. Do both of those things. And Phoenix is now in. Phoenix, the legal woman. They both work on Ursula, though. Ursula's down. Phoenix in with an arm bar. Got it locked down. Will Ursula tap to a simple bar? No. She gets out. She turns this over and now connects with Phoenix. Phoenix thrown into the corner now. Drop kick connects and Phoenix just falls face first out of the Pixel Pals corner. And Runa applauding as her partner is working on her, but Phoenix comes rifling back and with a bunch of punches connects. Ursula sent to the other corner now. Comes in and connects again. Ursula fires out though. Able to get out of trouble. Dragging Phoenix towards her own corner. She is going to tag in her partner. Here comes Runa. Runa has now got Phoenix up and smashes her knees into the mat. Stands Phoenix up, but Phoenix is able to take her over. And now Phoenix turns her around, twists her over, and now tries to get a pin. Picks her back up one more time. Throws her down again. Down goes Runa. And Runa thrown to the corner. Thrown to the wolves, you might even say. B tagged in. She's going to come in with a combination move. Here it comes. Neck breaker. Samoan slam. Pinning attempt. One. Ursula able to squeak past Phoenix just in time. Now the British Union double teamer and she gets tossed over top of the rope to the floor and then Phoenix goes back towards the corner while B celebrates their working away now she takes to working on Runa pinning attempt one not good enough Ursula back up very quickly actually stomp to the head picks Ursula back or Runa back up Gets her worked into that stretch move where she gets her down to the floor. It's very painful. Then followed up with a stomp to make it just that much worse. Kick to the midsection by Runa. Then a drop kick to the shins, which will send B flying. Boot to the midsection. And then a stomp to go with it. And then gets in a jawbreaker. Dropped again, turned over in that half crab. Can B get out? Can she get herself out of trouble? She does kick Runa over though. Runa takes a boot to the back. That won't feel good. 
B working away now. She gets her in a bulldog. Luna now in trouble, trying to get to the ropes herself, and now she's the one in danger. Double arm, deep, suplex, one, not enough. Ties her up for the sharpshooter. Phoenix tries to come in to put an end to it, and I'm not quite sure what all happened there, but that got broken up. It's kind of a weird combination of things there. Now Runa working away, but cut off. And now B has control. She's got her up, takes her down, clothesline off of the top rope. she's going to do to Runa with that stretch move submission. Runa in trouble. She's having trouble getting out of it, but she does nonetheless. She rolls out, tries to catch B. She gets back to her feet, but B catches her butt. Tripped up. Runa now back in control. B unable to keep control of this match and gets stomped on in the process. Getting dragged towards the middle of the ring. Luna looked like she was going to tag in Ursula, but instead goes for another sharpshooter. Turns her over. She's got her pinned down briefly, but be able to fight out of it once more. A shaky situation there. Stands back up again. Immediately, Luna catches her, now taking her towards her corner. Throws her into the turnbuckle, firing out. Going to the opposite turnbuckle. A tag for Phoenix. Here she comes, and it is that combination Simone Slam and cover again. Pinning attempt. One, and then Ursula screeches across before there was any chance for anybody to catch her. And then Phoenix takes her over and is able to knock Runa down, but Runa is able to squeak out and get back out of trouble. Ursula's down outside of the ring. Big power bomb. One, two. Phoenix able to kick out, though. B back into her side of the ring. Runa picks up Phoenix again, throws her into her own corner. No sign that Ursula is going to get back to her feet anytime soon. Luna waiting to do damage onto Earth to Phoenix. Picks her up, slams her face first. Big pancake move. Picks her up one more time, throws her into the corner again. Follows up with a big old clothesline, which connects. Phoenix trying to get out of trouble. Trying to get out of dodge. Crawling. Dives and tags in her partner. Luna didn't seem like she was trying that hard to stop that. B comes in with a drop kick, but then misses on the follow-up clothesline. Phoenix is down on the ground, while B is now in trouble. Luna has pretty much controlled this for quite some time, and now it's a stretch. B in trouble, but she does squeak out of there just in time. Sit down, power slam, pin, one, two. And Phoenix had finally slid into the corner. Ursula would have cut her off, but B turned out, was able to get out of that pinning attempt. Phoenix watching can only look on as her partner's in trouble. We're gonna drag B to the middle of the ring. Another sharpshooter attempt. Probably not great with Phoenix around. Oh, but B submits. While well, Phoenix can only look on. B unable to get out of the third time. And because of that, B submits to Runa. A big victory here for the Pixel Pals. There's no doubt about that.
That was a perfect victory by these Here two ladies. Here are your winners. You can bet Stephanie they the will Diamond want to move along up the chain and challenge Lucky. the young professionals or whoever survives at Legacy for the title. They need a couple more wins under their belt, but they're definitely on their way. Next up, we have Zoe defending her title against Tabby. Tabby surprisingly able to take on the champion here. I think in a way that Zoe was being kind, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. As I said, she's going up against Emma soon, regardless. And here she comes. Making her way to the ring from Great Falls, Montana, the internet champion, the chosen one. Champion. All right, Zoe in. One thing the champion is big on is facing challengers and defending her championship. So she will want to get a victory here tonight. Another notch in her belt, if you want to call it that, along the way to Legacy. But here comes Tabby. And her opponent from Seattle, Washington, the Terror Sawyer. Can Tabby do against the champion? We're about to find out. A match not exactly expected. And Zoe comes out with a hurricane runner right off the bat. She has Zoe on the run. Or Zoe, she has Tabby on the run. Picks Tabby up, back to her feet. Big forearm shiver and another. Tries to go for a kick. Misses, but oh, Tabby does connect with a big DDT. Big trouble here for the champion early on, but arm wrench now onto Zoe. Zoe trying to get free, working to get away, but so far no good. Challenger able to make her pay to a degree. Big elbow to the face, though, does connect. Zoe walking towards the corner. The lady's just sort of standing there, waiting for her to recover, and then misses on the follow-up. Not your best decision there, champ. Big forearm shot. Oh, and then a massive hurricane run out of nowhere. Off the first bottom rope there. Throws Zoe into the ropes. Comes out. Tabby looking to finish this off. Gets her up, spins her around, takes her down. Can she get the win here? Will she so shock the world and beat the champion? It is a Bailey to belly that catches her. She's down. One, two, three. Well, there will be no surprise. The champion playing a bit of possum caught the challenger and won that sucker quick and easy. Just a belly to belly out of the middle of nowhere. And Tabby had nowhere to go. And the 
with that, Here is your winner, the champion continues to defend her title. And she will have to meet up with Emma very soon. What a quick and solid match that was by the champion. Certainly that uh, comes as no surprise. She is a very hardy soldier. But we are now at the main event for Attitude. It is Brenna versus Tamara in our championship main event. Well, championship in our main event. This is a stipulation match. If Brenna wins, she gets to fight Tamara at Legacy and dictates what the terms are for that match. And from what I know of Brenna, it will not be an easy match, and it will be bloody and vicious, and will have all the trappings that come from someone who doesn't like to fight within the bounds of normal rules. And out first, it's our challenger. So, Brenna has her work cut out for her. She's got a new haircut, which, if you know anything about her, that that's a symbol of her determination to change her fate. After having a very rough go of it as of late, she's had trouble winning matches, but now she faces her diff most difficult challenge in a while. And here she comes, it's the champion. So, who will win this match? And if Brenna loses, will that be it for her opportunity at the title? The champion is very confident. She's got a couple of good wins under her belt, has won the championship twice now. Brenna, of course, a former champion herself, so she's not to be taken lightly. Barbarian can get the better of you if you underestimate her. She works on the arm right off the bat. Lowers her down with her foot so she can get an even better shot at it. Remember, she has a submission finisher with an arm bar, as does Tamara, so she won't want Tamara to get a shot at her that way. Big knee lift catches Brenna. Now she grabs her and takes her over working on that arm specifically Tamara now working more on the arm she is trying to get enough damage on the right arm to probably put Brenna into her move stomps to the leg now Tamara drops a leg drop onto Brenna coming up again with another one she got a surprise defeat at Canadian Stampede but was able to win the championship back early last weekend or last week in a match against Phoenix so she will definitely want to hold on to the title. Brenna however desperate now to get a victory wants to get the win basically wants to show the world that she is not some simpleton and some easily defeated mark. She is ready willing and able and she's going to give it her all guaranteed that she is just laying a whooping on to Tamara 
Tamara fights back briefly, but Brenna comes in again. Now, big elbow, big strike, connects. And another. Oof, that one rocked her. Grabbing her nose, and now she's up, and the airplanes go into the Samoan drop. And she is dropped to the floor. This is the first pinning attempt. One, two. Champion gets out rather quickly. Slowly trying to get to her feet, but she's caught by the challenger. Brenna has her up. Drops her down. Big smash and a pinning combination. One, two. Is this it? Oh, that was close. That arm was coming down for three. Brenna thought that was it. Angry at that one, but focuses back in on the champ. Champ gets back to her feet. Picks up Brenna. Throws her over her head and down goes Brenna to the mat. Follows her up. Now she's got her in the disarmor. Is this the end of the match right here? She's got her locked in, but somehow Brenna got out. Big strike to the face there. Tamara in trouble again. Comes in with a clothesline to the back of the neck. That'll send you into pain. Drops a knee onto the nose. Brenna with a gut wrench, able to throw her over. And a big stomp on the elbow. Working on the knee area now, just generally making every appendage hurt. Make the champion struggle to move. Make her into a pile of pain, and it will make defeating her that much easier. Brenna throws her into the corner. Coming in, following up, sets her up, drops her down. Brenna going in a very different direction than she normally does. She gets her up. She's way up. They're on the top rope. Oh my gosh. Big slam, power slam out of the top rope. Pinning one, two, three. And Brenna will dictate the terms at Legacy as she will fight for the championship as she wins against the champion. And it's a big, big victory. And Brenna looks happy, pleased, and maybe a little vicious as she comes in and immediately attacks the champion. The champion who can't defend herself. And Brenna is more than happy to make her pay a little bit more. Leave her with a little bit more memory of just what she's done to her tonight. And that expression alone tells you all you need to know about what her attitude is going towards legacy. And we'll have to see what else that brings very, very shortly. All right, everybody. Thank you.